Hi, I'm Emily from the Blue Mouse, and today I'm going to teach you how to knit an I-cord. So to begin, you'll need to have a pair of either circulars or double-pointed needles. Using whatever method you prefer, go ahead and cast on three stitches. If you're attaching the I-cord to something, you'll want to leave yourself a tail to attach it. So normally when you would work something flat, you would turn your work, right? We're not going to do that. We're going to take our stitches and slide them down to the end of our other needle if you're working on circulars or the end of your same needle if you're working on DPNs. So if you'll notice, the yarn is attached to our third stitch on our left hand needle. That is exactly where we want it to be attached. So now we're just going to knit across the row normally. So knit the first stitch normally, go into the front loop of it, crisscross your needles, and bring that yarn over your right needle from front to back pull a loop through and slide that stitch off your needle. Now the important aspect of this is that you need to pull on your working yarn after you knit that stitch to kind of close any gap that you would get. It doesn't have to be super tight. If you can't knit the second stitch easily, then you have pulled it too tight and you just need to pull up on the stitch on your right hand needle, okay? So pull it tight enough that you're gonna close the gap behind it and then just knit the next two stitches. And you don't have to pull tight after these two. And once you're done with that, we're just going to slide it down again. The important thing about an I-cord is that you never turn your work. You just slide it down so that your working yarn is attached to the last stitch on your needle now. And you just repeat the row I just showed you. So knit the first stitch. A tip that I find helpful is after you knit your first stitch, you go ahead and insert your needle into the second stitch and then you pull your yarn tight. That way you know you'll be able to fit your needles in, and then you yarn over, pull through, and slide off. And that's it. You just repeat that until you're ready to bind off. So your I-cord should start to look like this. There's no right side or wrong side to this. So when you get done with your final row and you're ready to bind off, go ahead and slide them all the way down to the end of the other needle, the same way that we have been doing. Now you can bind off any way that you prefer, but I'm going to show you a standard knit bind off. So this is almost identical to what we've been doing, but knit the first stitch. Don't forget to pull tight afterwards and then knit the second stitch. And now we're going to pull this first stitch over the second and off. So with your left needle, go into the front loop of this first stitch. You might want to hold it with your thumb and then hold this other stitch with your index finger. And you're going to pull this first stitch over the other and off your needle and you've just bound off one stitch. So we need to do that one more time. Knit one and do the same thing. Go into the front loop of this first stitch from left to right, hold it with your thumb, hold this one with your index, pull it up and over. Now you can cut your yarn, leaving a tail as long as you need, and then you can just lift your right needle up, pull that stitch out, and this is what it should look like. Now I'm using slightly loose needles for my yarn, so I get a little bit of a loose loop here. But I can just thread my yarn through a yarn needle and just kind of fix that. You just want to be careful that when you're threading your yarn through that you do not go back through where this yarn is coming out of because you will undo your last stitch. Once you've kind of closed up any gaps at the top and you want to hide this, you can kind of just thread it through the middle. See how you can't see the needle on any side? You're just threading it through kind of the center of your I-cord. You can kind of just pull it down through the bottom or as close to the bottom as you can get. Pull the yarn through and if it starts to bunch up just pull it out to even it. Then you can cut that tail close and it's hidden on the inside of your I-cord. Now you can use your other end to attach your I-cord to whatever it is that you need it for or you can also do the same thing and just weave it back in. But there you have it. That is how you knit an I-cord. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.